Om Sai Ram friends, this is Venkatpa Sasa.com. Um, many of you would have known the greatness about uh, Saptasringi Devi Temple, uh, about which uh, there is a very beautiful uh, incident between Sama and uh, the priest in Saptasringi Temple, uh, which is situated in Vani. Uh, we will discuss about the story sometime later, but uh, now what I wanted to tell you is that I have started to do chanting in my mind for the next seven days. I started it yesterday, actually. So what I'm going to chant is, uh, here I've given Om Sri Sapta Singhi Devi, but in my mind, I chant Om Sai Sapta Singhi Nama, or sometimes you can also chant Om Sri Sapta Singhi Devi Nama, or Om Sapta Singhi Devi Nama, Om Sapta Singhi Devi Namaha, Om Sapta Singhi Devi Namaha, Om Sapta Singhi Devi Namaha. Okay, what happens when you do that? Um, continue your other work, uh, keep chanting. If, if you love Sapta Singhi Devi, that is well and good. But if you don't, uh, if, you, if you don't know about her, I wanted to tell you something about it. Uh, Sapta Singhi Devi Temple is situated in a place uh, 50 kilometers from uh, uh, Nasik. Uh, so I believe you can reach there by three and a half hours from Sridi. So it is on a kind of a mountain peak. So Sapta Sringi means Sapta is seven and Sringi is uh, actually mountain peaks. So basically you have to cross seven mountain peaks to reach, to have Darshan of Sapta Sringi Devi. Uh, from yesterday, I've been chanting this Om Sai Sapta Sringi Devi, Om Sai Sapta Sringi Devi, uh, sometimes Om Sapta Sringi Devi Namaha, Om Sapta Sringi Devi Namaha, especially because when you do that, uh, your mind will be focused. Number one, you will not... Uh, have distractions irrespective of all the problems, troubles, depression, worries that happens in your life because of your career, your studies, or your family problems, whatever it is. Uh, if you love Sapta Singhi Devi, you can chant this holy name of her or any chanting you love. If you love to chant about Sai's holy name, you can chant Om Sai Ram, Om Sai Ram, like that. And if you like any other goddess who could be your Kul Devta, whom you love, it could be Goddess Mahalashmi, or it could be uh, Durga, any form of Durga. In fact, Sapta Sringi is a form of Durga. Uh, you can chant their holy name for the next seven days. So this is basically inspiring you to chant holy name of any saint or god or goddess you love for the next seven days. Um, it's not that you have to always chant. For example, the last few minutes, I completely forgot. But suddenly I will remember and will continue to chant in my mind. You can do your work, the regular work that you're doing in your life and you keep chanting. When you chant, you will realize the goddess uh, emerges. She takes birth inside your heart itself, inside your mind itself. And she, she makes you realize that she is there for you. Irrespective of all the other benefits you could derive by this chanting, I humbly request you to see if not today or something, you just keep this in mind anytime in your life. Try remembering Goddess uh, deeply in your heart with your pure mind. Surely you will be blessed. Om Sai Ram, Om Sai Ram, Om Sai Ram, Om Sai Ram, Om Sai Ram. Om Sai Ram.